Um, do you think it was responsible for you to call yesterday's explosion by the customs, uh, by the checkpoint at the Rainbow Bridge terrorism when no U.S. or Canadian officials said that was, the, or authorities said that was the case, and when the New York governor also said there was no evidence to suggest terrorism activity? Actually, you're wrong. Are you a CP? Okay, so CP, by the way, CP, just for everyone's knowledge, did have to make three corrections for falsehoods that they put into a single article. I think that might be unprecedented. Um, I'm actually thinking about checking with the Guinness Book of World Records to see if there's ever been a news agency that has had to issue three corrections for patent falsehoods that they admit they had been made in one single article, and now you've made yet another falsehood in your question. Um, um, where you are wrong is that CTV reported that the government of Canada was presuming that the incident was terrorist. So, yeah, that was, and that's what I said in my remarks. You're right. It was a media report. But it's citing media reports and not... Which is what I said. In the House, I said there are media reports. And do you think that's responsible for the bill? Do you think that that statement at the time? Is that a statement? What kind of statement? Calling something I didn't. I said there were media reports. No, there's no distinction. What I said, and I was right, was that there were media reports of a terror-related event. By your admission, there were media reports of a terror-related event. And that media report, according to CTV, unless you're questioning their integrity now, came from security officials in the Trudeau government. So do you think the CTV was irresponsible in putting out that tweet? Do you think it was responsible? Do, 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 sorry, I'm asking, and I, I have already answered that. Do you, do you think CTV was irresponsible to put that tweet out? Well, you just did comment. So, you know, I just hope you're not going to print something that you have to apologize for again. I should also add, uh, I think CP does work for CTV. So this is very awkward now, where we have CP attacking someone that they do work for. CP is a, uh, CTV is a client of CP, and now we have CP attacking CTV's reporting. So this is a very awkward issue. I don't, I don't know if there's a, a way that the two agent, news agencies can sort that out.